What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Thank you for tuning in again. Whoa, here we go. Buju's home, Buju's home. But anyhow, tonight's recipe is gonna be buffalo chicken egg rolls. So I'm excited about this recipe. I hope you guys are excited with me. So to start, I just pretty much shredded this chicken that I store bought, and it was pretty much four bucks. I just cut the time. I don't want a rotisserie. A chicken spent three hours in the oven. So we have rotisserie chicken here. We have cheese, a couple cheeses. We have some scallions, green onions. We have some more mozzarella. We have some fresh mozzarella. We have blue cheese. We have a little bit of seasoning. So it's onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Here we have cream cheese and Frank's Red Hot. I like Frank's Red Hot because it actually adds that vinegary flavor I like. But you can use any other hot sauce you like. So here we go, let's start this. Also, forgot, so I got my wonton wrappers and my egg white, my, my egg yolk mix. So we just gonna dump this in, dump that in. I got some chicken pieces that aren't really crushed up, but hey, it works. Next, we're gonna add the cream cheese. We're gonna add the cream cheese, pretty much. I like to break it up a little bit. Get this in the garbage. I like to break it up a little bit. I'm probably gonna use another one. I'm probably gonna use two. So let me just cut this bad boy off. But what's up guys, man? I hope you guys are doing pretty good. This is my second, third video. You know, I hope you guys enjoy the channel. I hope you get a little bit of knowledge and you guys start creating your own recipes. If not, you're so welcome to just use the ones I'm giving. So, you know, I'm gonna break off the cream cheese. So, I think that's enough. So, I'm, I use about, I think one bar is like, what, four ounces, eight ounces, if I'm not mistaken. So, I used about a good seven. So now I'm gonna add the, the blue cheese. I'm gonna get that all in there. I'm gonna start mixing that lightly. Next is gonna be the Frank's hot sauce. So I'm just gonna just go all in with it. It's about half a bottle. So I got another full bottle just in case. If you want it more spicy, you, you just add. So I'm gonna start breaking everything up while I'm in here. Breaking everything up. Using my hands and just breaking everything up. I hope you start seeing the consistency coming along. I like mine nice and spicy. Some folks don't add that much Frank's hot sauce or whatever hot sauce you decide to use, but I like it. So here we go. Next, I'm gonna add the seasoning. And the seasoning is, is about, a, um, I say it's about a teaspoon of each. And just mix it all in. How is that looking so far? Pretty good, huh? The meat is shredded and the cheeses are getting up in there. Everything is doing pretty good. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Last, last I'm gonna add the cheese. Ooh, all of that, all that goodness. And I'm gonna mix this nice and easy up in here. Nice and easy. Ooh, it smells good. Okay. This is looking real good. Ooh. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Break it down, keep breaking it down. Another 10 seconds or so. If you wanna add more green onions, you can, scallions, parsley, whatever you wanna do, you can add in here. You know, you kinda play with it, but I like, I like to keep it nice and simple, nothing too crazy. So, I'm gonna take these gloves off, have a little sample. Pretty good. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. 
I'm digging it. All right, now to the actual rows now. So we're gonna start with one. I'm gonna get a spoon, pretty much. And I'm gonna get a spoon about that much. Get some fresh mozzarella in there. Get the egg wash. Get the corners. And now we get the rolling. So you just want to pack it tight. Here we go. Fold one side. Fold the next. And roll. Roll. And here you have it. One egg roll. Let's go on to our next. Right, one more time. So we're gonna set this here. We're gonna spoon a little more. If you want it a little thicker, add a little more meat. Go ahead, you could do, play with it. Add a little regular moss. Little fresh mozzarella. Get the egg wash on the corner. And now, we're gonna roll them. This one's gonna be a little thick, so we gotta pack it real tight. Ah, tight. Fold the corners in. And there you have it. Now that's two. So we're gonna do about two more, three more. This one I'm gonna put the egg wash on first. Just get that out the way real quick. Another spoon. And guess what? You're probably not gonna use all of this. So what I usually do is I just throw this in a baking dish and put it in the oven with some cheese on the top. 350, about 20 minutes, if that. And I just use it as a dip. And get some chips, some crackers, and just dip. So we're gonna go here. in the tune. Watch tune there. Hey. 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 You're gonna roll them tight. Spread them out a little. Fold. Fold. And now you roll. Tuck these bad boys in. So now, when you're about to fry them, you want your temperature to be at 350. So what, what I have here is my digital thermometer. Usually, I used to use this, but the calibration, calibrating it, putting it in the freezer, putting it in the fridge, trying to fix it to get to 65 degrees to 80 degrees, it's not for me no more. So I'm cutting time. I'm going straight here. So I'm going to check the temperature of the oil. I have it on low. And this is this is a whole nother venture. That's a whole nother thing I got going. Another recipe, it will be up shortly, it will be up soon. But this is my digital thermometer. So I'm looking for the temperature to hit 350. So. It's slowly, I'm gonna need, I'm just dropping the tip, the tip in. So we at 283, 286, 288, 289, and it's climbing. So another few minutes, maybe one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four. But let we go, let we go, let we go. So let's finish up here. Let's make some more egg rolls. Let's make some more egg rolls. And guys, you can play with this egg roll recipe. You can add shrimp to these. You can add shrimp to these. Want to keep them nice and fluffed. You can add shrimp, you can add um steak, you can add whatever you want, crab, and just play with it and just create. So we got the egg, the egg yolk mix. Here we go again, another spoon of that good buffalo chicken. Nice, nice and thick spoon there. We got some mats. A little bit of regular mozz if you want it extra cheesy. And now we just fold. Fold, bring it back tightly. And this end, tight. And 
that's it. Woo! Cooking is life. If you don't have fun when you're cooking, I don't know what, man. You gotta have fun. You gotta do it up, man. Play some music. Catch a vibe, like they say in the Caribbean. Catch a vibe. Another spoon. Boom. Hey. Hey. So now, I think we're good here on this, because this should be the last one. I think the oil should be at 350, or pretty close. So let's fold this. Ah. Work these, work these out. Work these nice. If you wanna save these for later on, you can make these, put them in the fridge. And when your friends are over for a nice little party, nice little gathering, Super Bowl's coming up. These are dope for Super Bowl. All right, so let's check the temperature, guys. Do you see it creeping up? Let me clean that little lens, 290. Yep. Another couple seconds and we got 350. And that's the temperature we want to fire at, 350. So we got, yeah, 337 right now. So another like 30 seconds to a minute, and we're hitting 350. And we're gonna drop these bad boys. So I'll put them here on my sizzle plate. So we have five. You know what, I'm gonna make one more, because I don't, I don't like odd numbers. I'm an even type of guy, so you know, let me get one more going. Last one. Wow, real quick, speed game. There we go. A little more cheese. This one's gonna be thick. Yeah, like it. Fold this in, fold this other end in, and let's roll. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So now let's drop these bad boys. You gotta be careful when you're playing with oil. Oil is very, man, it will do some damage to you. So you just wanna just start them off. And you just slowly drop them. Start them off, and you just slowly drop them away from you. And give them some space too. Just one, two. And these 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 cook extremely quick, quick, very fast. So I'll drop all six one time, and just roll them over, fold them, and we'll just wait. Stand by. So while these are cooking, a little bit about myself. I'm Chef D, A.K.A. Daryl. Clean. Um, born in Panama, moved to New York City when I was like 9, 10. You know, I still got my deep accent, if you hear it, from New York and I think from Panama sometimes too. So, you know, I went to culinary school after going to college, trying baseball, football, it didn't work. My brother thought he was gonna make it, but things didn't work out. And now I'm here doing what I love. And I like doing this more than what I like playing sports at times. But that's a little bit about me, you know, Check me out on the gram, Chef DNYC. Delicious likes on Facebook. And shout out to all my family, all, all my friends and family that support me, man. I mean, I couldn't do it without you guys. You guys motivate me, you put the battery on my back, and I'm now I'm doing it for you guys. So back to these egg rolls, because they're moving really, really quick. So we're here with them. Woo, hot, hot. So they're browning pretty good. They're getting that color. That golden brown, not Bobby Brown. All right.
All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. So these take a few, not too long. About, I say about two minutes tops, and that should be it. So we're gonna break one of these bad boys, and I think one popped on me. Wow, I don't like that. So that one was too fat. So we'll see. They 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 going pretty pretty darn good. Check these out. Nice, huh? Another couple seconds. Live it up, live it up. Whoa. These are almost, almost, almost done. Wow. Let me let them rock. Another 30 seconds. All right, guys, I think these are done. Woo! Oh, yeah. Cheese is coming out. So here we go. We have one. Woo! That one bust. All right, two. That one is no good. It happens, man. That's how you know you're going, you're going live. It happens. All right. We're going two. Oh, don't drop. Come on. There we go. So what happens, when that happens, I just take the cheese out. Because I don't want to burn the cheese in there. Because I got some more stuff coming. So I just pull it out. I pull it out and it comes right off. But you get a slotted spoon and you just get it. So... Guys, I'm going to just let these sit for another couple seconds. And we're going to crack these bad boys open. So come on, slide over. So if I wanted to plate these for a nice little event, I would just throw these bad boys right on a bed of micro greens. Just like that. Like that. Including this one. Somebody always eats that one. And just here. And here. Get this out of here. So now, let's go for the test. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna try, which one am I gonna try? Let me try this one right here. Oh yeah. So let's, there we go. Buffalo, chicken, egg roll. Thank you guys, see you next week, boom!